Thank you for joining Wars of the Roses. And this is free and accepted from the Encyclopedia of Freemasonry by Albert G. Mackey. Free and accepted. The title, free and accepted, first occurs in Robert's print of 1722, which is headed, The Old Constitutions Belonging to the Ancient and Honorable Society of Free and Accepted Masons and was adopted by Dr. Anderson in the second edition of the Book of Constitutions, published in 1738, the title of which is The New Book of Constitutions of the Ancient and Honorable Fraternity of Free and Accepted Masons. In the first edition of 1723, the title was The Constitutions of the Freemasons. The newer title continued to be used by the Grand Lodge of England, in which it was followed by those of Scotland and Ireland, and a majority of the Grand Lodges in this country have adopted the same style, and call themselves Grand Lodges of Free and Accepted Masons. See Accepted. The old lectures formerly used in England give the following account of the origin of the term. The Masons who were selected to build the Temple of Solomon, were declared free and were exempted, together with their descendants, from impost duties and taxis. They had also the privilege to bear arms at the destruction of the temple by Nebuchadnezzar. The posterity of these masons were carried into captivity with the ancient Jews, but the goodwill of Cyrus gave them permission to erect a second temple, having set them at liberty for that purpose. It is from that epoch that we bear the name of free and accepted masons. Thank you for watching, and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe, and comment. And if you can, please consider donating to Wars of the Roses. Links to PayPal and Patreon are in the description. Thank you so very much.